I think elsewhere you said that Putin was not a good KGB agent. That's right. A mediocre one, but is an excellent politician. Yeah. And a good organizer. He was known as a really, really good organizer. When when uh, Yeltsin hired him as uh, uh, prime minister, he he cleaned up the mess to because Yeltsin was, was it was, under, under Yeltsin, Russia deteriorated tremendously, and it became sort of a, a mix of an oligarchy and a, and a criminal enterprise and, and chaotic. So he had skills that made him a good executive. Oh, absolutely. Now let's go back to him as a KGB agent. He was a KGB agent. I mean, uh, you know, according to him, once a KGB agent, always a KGB agent. But sixteen years, let's say, something like this. Uh, what do you think about f from your experience? Uh, now you're maybe uh, the same age as him, approximately the same age as him. He's a little younger. A little younger. Yeah. What do you think about the KGB experience he had made him the man he is? What aspect of that, from your own experience, yeah, well, how much that does that define you, who you are, how you think about the world, how you analyze uh, the geopolitics of the world, how you analyze human nature? Now, I got to tell you one thing. He, he had a different type of training than I did. Mine was one-on-one, -on -one, and he went to school, so to speak. So, <laughs> classroom so, training, <laughs> right? Uh, so, um, but but uh, fundamentally, he he was not a top agent. And this is very simple. To uh, there's only one one thing you need to know. He he knows German pretty well. So he where was he deployed? In East Germany, not in West Germany, not in Switzerland, not in Austria. That's where they sent the best, right? One would think, generally. We're learning here, right? So this is your classification of where they send the best. You know, there's people classify all kinds of stuff, like uh, what is the best university in the world, what is the best football team in the world. Yeah. And you you start to get a sense. The good guys get sent. the 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 best athletes get sent to. Uh, well, we can disagree on this, but what the football team is. In, <laughs> but you have a sense, and you're yeah. saying that the best agents would have been sent. One to would West think Germany. so. Now, th this is not for a forcing argument, but. Yeah. Uh, uh, I also have it from from a word from the horse's mouth. Uh, Which horse? Uh, <laughs> Ole, I mean, what kind of horse? O What's the breed of the o Oleg horse? Kalugin. Uh, you you know who Oleg yes. Kalugin is, and he's still he's still alive. He was at one point uh, the head of counterintelligence for the first directorate espionage, right? And Putin was in the first directorate and reported to K Kalugin for a while. And Oleg told me to my face that Oleg was not an impressive uh, agent trainee that, or agent. Uh, that Vladimir Putin was not impressive. Not impressive at all. Now, he's biased, given his current situation. In, in, well, yeah, you know, he, he could still make it up because he had this big ruckus when, when he was in parliament and called, called Putin a war criminal about yeah. the uh, war in Serbia. Uh, not only could he make it up, I wouldn't trust his analysis. <laughs> I mean, I, I have to, you know, what, when people, mm. I've been working very hard even before this war to try to understand objective analysis of all, uh, all the parties involved. Mm. You have to really keep an open mind here to see clearly, to understand if you are to try to help in some way make a better world, uh, in this case, stop this war, yeah. or it, have, all the countries involved flourish, bring out the best of the people, remove the corruption and the greed and the destructive aspects of the governments and let the people flourish. For all of that, you have to put all the biases aside, all the political bickering, all the, um, I don't know, uh, all the biased analysis. And there's, there's a lot of propaganda that says that in fact, Putin was a was a good agent. Mm -hmm. How else would he rise to the ranks, right? Because he he was a good politician, and uh, and he made a lot of good connections and with within the KGB. Uh, allow me to say something. You just uh, you just taught me a lesson, mm -hmm. and 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 the lesson uh, I sh I should have figured out myself because I I keep on telling people that in the intelligence world you never know 
the truth 100%. <laughs> so when you said, oh, I could make that up, of course you could have. Uh, but you get to a point where you, you're forced to make a decision or have an opinion, and then you use your best educated guess. Yes. So I'm I'm going to take the certainty of the statement that I made back. Yes. Because you, it's quite possible that you're right. Well, what I've noticed about Vladimir Putin, and this is true about, for example, Donald Trump and all those kinds of um, divisive figures, that some for some reason people's opinion on the details of those people are very sticky. Once you decide this is a bad guy, yeah. There's a, like a black hole and people are not able to think like one act yeah. at a time. You don't have to like, that doesn't somehow justify this, this somehow doesn't uh, remove all the evil things that are done, but you can analyze clearly yeah. each of the actions. And it, to me, it is interesting to, to see how did this man yeah. rise through the ranks? Now you're saying that to be a KGB agent, there's a lot of skills involved. Uh, and perhaps raw um, technical skill of spycraft is perhaps not related to the skill of raising, rising through the ranks. Right. And you're saying as a, as a politician, but, he was good at rising. But lying through the ranks. and influencing uh, that is something that uh, that is significant as a significant uh, talent uh, and, and ability that an agent must have. That helps you. Uh, as a politician. 